Hi, it's Lisa with Dragon Girl Design Co. here. Um, I want to share with you my ears that I make um, and why they're a little different than some of the ears that others make and why mine might be ones that you want to travel with the next time you go out to the parks. So my ears are 3D printed and they're magnetic, so they do come off. I also make the bows so that they are magnetic and they come off also. My headband is a plastic headband that I braid ribbon and um, on top of that I then print out my holders so these holders are something I have had designed for me and I use that and then I put a magnet here on the headband I do have it covered and I do that for a reason. So not everybody wants a bow with their ears. So. Okay, Fine. there it is. Put this one in there. So now you can wear just the ears and you don't have to have a bow. So that's the nice thing about these. So. But let's say you want a bow. We can easily put the bow on with it. Oops, so I put it the right way. Now I have girl parrot ears. Whoops, didn't get that on there very well, did I? There we go. Now it's magnet. <laughs> now the magnet's on there. I had it upside down. So there's my ears. Now, you can change out your ears. Say now we're going to go to dinner. We're going to be seeing Cinderella. And we want to have ears to meet with Cinderella. We can take all that off. It's actually easier to change them out to take the headband off. We're going to pop on our carriage and our little glass slipper. And there's your ears. And then you can change out the bow. So I can put a silver bow in there. If I want to have a little more fun and color, I can do my colorful sequin bow. Um, so that's what is kind of fun about these. They're just, so customizable. Um, if you want to have Peter Pan themed ears, then there you go. There's some Peter Pan themed ears. Um, obviously, Skull Island, Pirates, part of Peter Pan, Tinkerbell's part of Peter Pan. You've got a Peter Pan set. So it's so much fun. You can do so much with them. Um, so I have lots of I not ideas, lots of different types of ears you can get. Um, so I will show you some of my ears. I have like lots of different bows. Um, only problem with the magnets is they do stick to other <laughs> things that are metal. But there's another one. I this is even the all the bows I have. I have tons of different bows to choose from. Um, I'm eventually going to do a Sleeping Beauty and this is a, um, it comes off purple in the camera, but this is actually more of a pink color. So it's a pink and blue. So make it pink, make it blue. Um, thought that would be a fun, fun one to make. Um, so I'll show you some of my other ears. I got Mickey and Minnie. Should I do Tink? Let's see. We've got Poison Apple set. Those ones are one of my favorites. Um, I cosplay in the mode from time to time. So I made no capes for the one ear and mode for the other. If you head over to Universal and you want some ears to throw over there, I've got Hello Kitty. Um, if you're also going over to Universal, Spider-Man, or if you're in California, Spider-Man. If you're in California, you've got all the Marvel stuff, so from Loki, Miss Minutes, Peggy Carter, Carter's SSR pen. Um, I'm working on a Captain America set. I haven't quite tweaked those to my liking. Um, I have a Black Widow set I'm sold out on right now. I have a Scarlet Witch that I'm sell out, sold out right now on. Um, my favorite ride at, Disney, at Magic Kingdom 
is Haunted Mansion. So here's Miss Madame Leota. All right. There's our Hitchhiking Ghost, Gus, Ezra, and Phineas, in case you didn't know their names. Um, our Hatbox Ghost. And then, this is a misprint. This is not the color option for this one. Um, but I asked somebody to help me out and they set it up wrong. Um, so normally this would be a white background like these in black for the uh, wallpaper design. I also have one that I'm also out of that will be uh, a white background with a, a white background with black design. It says Foolish Mortals. The sign says Foolish Mortals. Um, and then it is a very special year right now at Magic Kingdom. So I made some 50th ears. So these are what they look like. Got the 50 in the middle, gold castle. And these ones cost more because um, they are more limited. And the reason they're limited is I can only get so much of this material to make the bow. So they're both nice and sparkly, pretty bow. Um, I don't have any bows made up at the moment. Out of those. Um, and then it is Christmas time. So I got my peppermint Mickeys. Got my Christmas swirls. I love these ones. They're so cute and whimsical. And then I have a reindeer. He's all fun. I made the little Christmas truck. It says Merry Christmas down here. It's hard to see in the video. There you go. Merry Christmas at the bottom. This one just came off the printer. I just finished printing it. It's my poinsettia. Um, and then this one, I've gone in and I'm, I'm tweaking it. Um, I didn't like how the Merry Christmas came out. It's too hard to read. So I'm taking that out and I'm move the holly down. She'll be holding the holly. But there's a, a mermaid one. I thought that one was really fun. I thought the, those that like Little Mermaid would enjoy that. So I think that's all my ears I have to share tonight. Um, so... Something I did not show you is another great thing about them being magnetic and you can take them apart is if you need a break during the day, I don't know about you, but if you're doing, if I'm doing, you know, rope drop the fireworks, which very rarely happens, I'm a local, you know, pass holder. I don't need to rope drop the fireworks, so it doesn't happen very often. But if I do, I cannot wear my ears all day. I need a break from them. So... The fact that they've come apart and break down, that's wonderful. I can store them easily. The other thing is you go on Splash Mountain, Thunder Mountain, Seven Dwarfs, um, Everest, what else? Space Mountain. You you might lose your ears. I highly recommend taking them off. So what I do is, I know this isn't very fancy, but it gets the job done. That's all that we need, ladies um, and gentlemen. If you, if you wear ears, gentlemen, because my ears are not just squirrel ears. So it's a great thing you take the little bow off and you can have Mickey ears or mini ears. So I take my little Ziploc bag. I take my headband. I turn it upside down and I put it into my bag and I turn it upside down for a reason. I then take my ears. All right. And I stick them in the middle of that headband. And it's a lot easier to put it in when the headband's upside down. And then I take my bow. All right. Stick my bow off to the side. And I zip this up and it fits into as small as a lounge fly mini backpack size backpack. I know this isn't lounge fly. My friend did make this for me and I am thankful for it. Um, I love Bruni and he cute. I need to make some Bruni ears, don't I? Um, so these fit down into my backpack and I can go ride my ride or I can take my break from my ears. Um, also, you can throw quite a few sets of ears into a second Ziploc bag. Because remember, we're going to go see pirates. We're going to go on pirates, so we're going to have our pirates ears. We might see Tinkerbell, so we want our Tinkerbell ears. And we could put our Cinderella ears in here. There are three sets of ears in there. And I could even, I still have room for a few bows, a couple bows in there. So I could throw that in my bag. I have another one for my set that I'm actually wearing and it's not taking up a lot of space in my backpack. I can carry multiple ears and have them to change out throughout the day. Say you're switching parks. Um, so it's nice to be able to do that. Um, 
The other thing is, I live locally in Orlando, so I don't have this problem, but if I've seen where people on YouTube are saying they're bringing a whole suitcase of just ears. I can't imagine paying for um, flying with your luggage and paying to have a suitcase of ears. I'm just, I'm blown away that some of y'all have that dedication. I probably would only use one set, but you don't have to do that. Look. One, two, three, four, five. There's five days, five different sets of ears. If you do one set a day, even, that's five days of ears. Right there, that's it. That's all the space it takes, along with a headband and a few bows. I mean, maybe a quarter of your suitcase. Um, throw them in your carry-on. So they're great for travel. Uh, so I like that. So I also mentioned Universal. I'm working on some Harry Potter sets. They are not ready yet, but I do sell braided headbands, just the headband, for the house colors. So there's your Gryffindor. There's your Ravenclaw, your Hufflepuffs, Slytherin. Slytherin does also come in the diamonds. I just didn't have it available to grab when I grabbed these to show you guys. So um, all this is available in my shop, dragongirldesignco.com. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook, Dragon Girl Design Co. and um, Instagram, Dragon Girl Design Co. If you have any questions, please message me and I'd be happy to answer any questions uh, and enjoy the parks and have fun changing out your ears. Everything is interchangeable with Dragon Girl Design Co. Have a great day.